this saying goodbye on the edge of the dark and cold to an orchard so young in the bark reminds me of all that can happen to harm an orchard away at the end of the farm all winter cut off by a hill from the house I don't want it griddled by rabbit and mouse. I don't want it dreamily nibbled for browse by deer, and I don't want it butted by grouse. If certain it wouldn't be idle to call, I'd summon grouse, rabbit, and deer to the wall, and I'd warn them away with a stick for a gun. I don't want it stirred by the heat of the sun. We made it secure against being, I hope, by setting it out on a northerly slope. No orchard, the worst for the winteriest storm. But one thing about it, it mustn't get warm. How often already you've had to be told Keep cold, young orchard. Goodbye and keep cold. Dread 50 above more than 50 below. I have to be gone for a season or so. My business a while is with the different trees, less carefully nourished, less fruitful than these. And such as it is done to their wood with an axe, maples and birches and tamaracks. I wish I could promise to lie in the night and think of the orchard's arboreal plight when slowly and nobody comes with a light. Its heart sinks lower than the sod, but something has to be left to God.